Hey, welcome back, guys. This is going to be the last installment of our Takati 4 Tear Down and Rebuild series. <clears throat> this is the motor that we just got done rebuilding, uh, the Long Rod 330 motor. It's on the dyno right now. It's ready for its uh, very first fire up. And uh, let me give you a little walk around. Uh, I'll see you. I'll show you how I set it up, and then we will fire this thing up and see how it runs. So we've, uh, we've got it set up with the Bills pipe and the Bills silencer. Um, this is the uh, Bills pipe that I modified the head pipe on a couple of videos back for, uh, I believe, the 352 that I did for Joel Little. Um, it is, uh, um, as you know, uh, fully rebuilt bottom to top, has a long rod 330 big bore kit. Um, cylinder is dune ported and it has 190 pounds of compression so it can run on race gas or half race gas half pump gas um, right now we're uh, we're set up with all the gauges um, I did put a 38 millimeter electron on um, let me walk around I'll do a quick walk around it Okay, we're running a 38 millimeter Electron right now, uh, Electron Power Jet. Uh, it's a standard carb, not a high velocity carb. And you can see it has one of our billet intake manifold uh, reed combos, the Boyson uh, block. Um, this is the uh, special one that we make for the 330 big bores. And uh, we have a stock CDI box. Uh, it is the Dyno CDI box that I run most everything on. Uh, customers flywheel and stator, so we'll be able to check those out, make sure they're good. And we run the Nology coil on this one. Uh, it's good replacement coil. So uh, we are hooked up. There's fuel in the tank, batteries charged. So uh, let's put the camera back on the stand. Let's fire this up and see if it runs. Nice, uh, fired right up, uh, came to a nice idle. We, uh, it's uh, fall here in Washington, so it's pretty cold out, and uh, we got the door open so that we can run on the dyno. Um, right now our water temp in the motor is about 60 degrees, which is uh, too cold to start making runs, so I'll go ahead and uh, run it for about five or 10 more minutes, get it warmed up real good, uh, make a quick a couple of quick short bursts, and then we'll, uh, We'll start doing break-in runs. Okay, now that we have just about 100 degrees of water temp in it, got a little bit of time on the motor, we're going to go ahead and make a short run. I'm going to start the run clear down at 3,000 RPM, which is essentially a really fast idle. Only pull it up to 6,000 RPM, which is about where the power valves open. Um, we'll probably make two of those runs. It's a good opportunity to put a good load on the motor at lower RPM, but not let it rev out too far. 
just to see how it pulls. Um, one of the cool things about these 330s is even though I'm running a 38 millimeter carburetor and I'm going to swap over to a 40 before I do the last couple of dyno runs because I want to see the difference. But even with a 38 millimeter carburetor at 3000 RPM, the dyno will hold this motor and I can hold it wide open. Which means that if you're on a big hill with a motor like this and you pin the throttle and hold it wide open, clear down at 3000 RPM, it'll pull it and then it start accelerating out of it. So they're pretty torquey motors. That was a really nice good pull. Let's see what kind of power we're making uncorrected. So without correcting for temperature um, and humidity, because it is pretty humid right now, um, we pulled 35.3 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. You can see that all the way up through the torque and the RPM is pretty nice and flat. It's got a nice pull from where we started right at the beginning of the torque pull all the way up to the top. So I'm gonna make a couple more pulls like this, do a couple of jetting checks. You can see EGTs are pretty decent at 975 at full throttle. So uh, I'll do a couple more pulls and then we'll make a full, uh, full RPM run. All right, we've put a number of runs on this motor. We've uh, done a little bit of tuning. I adjusted the timing a little bit, played with the jetting. <clears throat> the jetting is pretty conservative right now still, but um, doesn't affect much of the horsepower readings. This is the final run. Um, I have taken the 38 millimeter carb off and put a 40 millimeter carb on. And uh, let's go ahead and see how this thing runs. Um, you will notice that uh, during the run, there's two spots where the motor kind of the tack looks like it hangs a little bit. The first one is when the power valves actually open all the way. That's the little Takati 4 blip that's almost always in the power curve. And then uh, the second one is actually uh, when the motor starts to build power so fast, it takes a second for the dyno to catch up to it. Um, so the the first blip you actually feel when you ride it that's when the bike comes on the power band and you feel the hit the second one you never actually feel but you'll see it in the graph so let's uh replay the run and i'll show you what it did there's the first hang there's the second pause and then all the way on up to the top so Let's go ahead and see what this looks like on a graph. Um, that's a little bit better representation or a better visual. So you can see um, this is when the power valve opens. This power valve opens actually kind of late. Um, this motor was a very low mileage motor. There wasn't a lot of wear and tear on it. So you can see that the power valve opens later because there's not a lot of uh, wear on the spring. The springs get softer with time and the power valve opens earlier, but this one actually opened about where it's supposed to for a brand new spring. This is the second one there that I was telling you to watch for. It's really the, the, the horsepower really goes flat through there, but the motor starts to take off. The dyno tries to catch it, adjusts out, and then runs out over the top. So you can see this motor made 42.62 horsepower. Um, like I said earlier in the video, it is pretty humid here. 
at this time of year, so that does uh, reduce the power a tiny bit, but um, these are corrected horsepowers, so they're pretty close. Um, the motor makes uh, this pretty typical of a 330. Um, you got 330 cc's of air trying to go through a set of ports that was built for 250. Um, so the ports do max out. Um, uh, they they reach their peak flow fairly early. In this particular case, um, typically they'll want to run on up over to about 8200. This one flattens out right here. Um, <clears throat> I did play with the timing a little bit. It liked a bit more timing advance. And... Uh, it pulled better over the top with more timing advance, which it generally shouldn't do. Uh, more timing advance should help low end and hurt the top end. But when I bump the timing up and I see better peak, that's telling me that the spark's a little bit on the weak side. Um, Takati 4s only have one charging coil for the CDI, so they do tend to uh, get a little weak on the top end. So... I suspect that the flat spot there is probably just a little bit of that's where um, with enough cylinder pressure um, it's struggling for spark um, but uh, it pulls pretty well all the way up um, pretty nice smooth power band you can see it's got a really flat torque peak builds really early nice and smooth when it when the power valve opens it pulls that flat torque peak for about Pretty close to 1500 RPM, eh, maybe a little, probably 1200 RPM, I guess. And then it has a nice decline. It doesn't fall on its face. Um, and again, you can see the power band is almost linear. Um, power band is really similar to the hybrid motor that I did uh, previously. So this is a real nice smooth one. Um, you can see EGT's got up a little bit. You can see where they're climbing a little bit at the top. But they really only 992, so about a thousand degrees EGT. Um, if I leaned it down a little bit more, it would pull a little bit better over the top because those EGTs um, really, you know, should be around 1100, maybe pushing closer to 1200. Um, so there's a little bit more to be had there, but um, uh, for break-in runs and uh, not uh, leaning too hard on a brand new motor, um, this thing runs pretty good.